Um, the Dallas camera, I mean, there you go. There's our, our outflow boundary. And this is, oh boy, wideness even more if you guys can see that in there. So this is a really impressive uh, storm right here because what you're looking at is the shelf cloud. But what I'm looking above, that's the mesocyclone. That's uh, sometimes referred to as a mothership because it looks like a giant flying saucer. Um, that, is, that is the rotating updraft. And that right there is the rain coming out. Some, another name we sometimes call is a whale's mouth. Just a huge outflow of air coming out of this. So that is some strong winds. And right below that, the winds could be gusting down here, 50, 60 miles per hour, and that's rain in the background. Um, so the wild colors you're seeing, remember the sun sets to the west. So the sun is coming through the storm. And that's why you see the shades of orange and sometimes green and aqua blue in there. It's because the sunlight's being refracted through all that rain coming from that. But that is an impressive looking cell. Um, let's widen that out a little bit, guys, if we can. And it takes a little bit of delay because this is this is our camera in Dallas, by the way, if you're wondering at home. Um, we have a camera on the top of our transmitter, tra transmitter, I'll spit it out, transmitter there in, in, in Gaston County. And what we're looking at is up around 1,450 feet off the ground. So we're looking straight at the shelf cloud. So we're at almost 1,500 feet. So that's where the shelf cloud is. So below it, you're seeing all the heavy rain. And then above that, you could see the massive uh, you know, mothership. So down at the ground, it'll be interesting to see what we see as far as wind. So we're looking down towards the ground. Um, and again, the rain, that's the rain shaft, but the wind is well ahead of the rain. The rain is gonna be in the leading edge of that um, shelf cloud. And I'm looking at winds. I'm gonna pull up the Doppler velocities here. Right now in Gaston County, it looks like based on the vo velocities from the Doppler radar, we're getting about 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. So you just saw a new warning pop up on our screen there. I'll kind of show you that here in a minute. So that new warning, warning and you'll hear my computer tell you too. <laughs> so that warning is a new warning, which is just issued for this storm, um, likely because it's moving. Well, it looks like it's this little tail end of the storm down here. So. But that whole warning, you can see how big the warning is. It's the yellow polygon. It's basically, and look at all the cloud to ground lightning. I mean, that's, that's why I don't always show on these storms, but the, there's tons of lightning in here, which tells you that's a very vigorous updraft. And, you know, lightning we know is dangerous. It's not a criteria for severe thunderstorm warnings, but it does tell us a lot about what's happening with this storm because that is considered a huge updraft. So this is coming right at our camera. And this is not a time lapse, by the way. This is real time. Um, look at the velocity of the winds. The, the fact that the clouds are moving that quickly tells you that that's how strong the winds are. So that's the rain shaft here, likely some hail in there. Um, and we're probably gonna lose visibility here, but look at the, the shelf cloud, how quickly it's coming. Now, don't confuse this with the tornado. This is dangerous by itself. Up and down motion is always common in every tornado. We call that vertical motion, rolling or tumbling. Tornadoes are horizontal rotation. So it's rotation going like this. And we're not seeing any of that. And here comes the rain coming right at our camera. So even though that looks scary, we call them SLC sometimes, scary looking clouds, that is not a tornadic looking storm. It's straight line winds. Um, and that's what that's telling you. You see the up and down, see how this, those clouds are going up and some are coming down. They call these convection currents, right? Convection oven, if you have one, you know how it cooks, it rotates that air. We call thunderstorms actually technically convection because in every thunderstorm you have a convection current going and that's what's driving this. So here comes the rain, look at this. This is the rain shaft coming at us and it looks like a little scud cloud flying by again real time shows you how fast the winds are moving and here we are at 1400 feet so imagine you're an airplane that's why you don't want to go anywhere near the storm so there'll likely be some massive delays out there at the airport